What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Folks TV. We are back in the shop today. We're working on the old 62 ragtop race car project. <laughs> uh, we're doing some updates and today we're updating the headlights. Um, we've got the original buckets out of that car. I don't think these have ever been taken apart uh, based on what the last guy told me. He's, he'd had that car for damn near since new. Uh, so I, th I think it's time that these have been taken apart and fixed up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna clean the chrome and we're gonna do a few things. I've got a fancy new yellow Hella lens for the outside here with the, the nice European flutes on there. It's gonna look really nice with that gray. Got some new seals from Wolfsburg West. Uh, one of them for this one and one of them for the, the bucket to the body. You want to keep all that water out especially with our new update, our last piece that we're putting in there. Uh, the gang over at VintageCarLEDs.com, uh, they saw that Gia video that we did where we put the H4 headlights in and they said, hey man, you gotta try these new LEDs that we got. Uh, and these are warm white LEDs, 12 volt, uh, super cool, very bright. Uh, they throw the right pattern you know, the low beam and the high beam, it, it throws the right line like it's supposed to. It's not like some of those other ones where it's just like, ah, here's a bunch of light, do what you want. This is actually focused um, and through the lens and then through this other lens that they sent us, which is actually the European Hella H4 housing. Uh, you know, it's all glass. It's got a little bit of a dome to it. It's really nice. Um, this is all gonna focus that beam where you want it and not just scatter it everywhere. Um, so thanks to them for sending us that. We're gonna give that a shot. Everything should fit together really nice. I think I have all the parts still in here, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but we're gonna show you how to get this thing rebuilt. As always, part numbers will be down below in the, uh, the description. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's jump in here and, and see if we can get this thing taken apart and put back together with nothing left over. Let's go. All right, here we go. The, uh, the headlight itself. Um, it's it's kind of three pieces. You've got your your bulb and the sort of outer assembly here You've got your or I guess that would be the inner assembly You've got your outer sort of shroud and then you have your your ring with the glass on it um, Everything's held together With these little clips uh, you can kind of see them here. They're just little springy clips You want to pay very close attention to how those are in and how many there are. So we've got one, two, three, four, five on the inside and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the, the bigger side here. And then you have your adjusters um, that are in this sort of little rubber, which I don't have any rubber to replace it, but usually that's, that's okay. Uh, we can use a little piece of fuel line or something. Um, I've used that stuff before. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop these little guys out first and you just carefully you know, pry that little, there's like a little pointy bit there that's in the rubber. And then we've got another one on this side. This, this are your adjusters. This is how you adjust the angle of your, you know, your, your beam. Oh, this rubber works pretty good here. And that's gonna let you pull this one off. Be careful when you take this out. There we go. When in doubt, just break it. I'll get another one put in there. And now we've got two pieces, uh, the, the inner and the outer. So I guess we'll kind of start with this one. Uh, you just take those little clips, and what I do is kind of push down. There we go. So you see, this flat part is what sits on the, the lip of that, and then these tuck underneath a little lip on the chrome, and that's what holds them in. So let's get all these out, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you the rest of it. You want to be careful when you're taking these out uh, because they are a spring and they're they're kind of under tension. 
And man, they'll go flying if you're not careful. And now that we've got all those out, we can sort of carefully remove the chrome ring. And then here's our, our glass and our housing. Um, yeah, these are genuine Hella German units. Now a lot of times the, uh, the headlight glass, that seal gets super crusty and they get stuck in there. Uh, but not too bad. You just, you just kind of give them a tug and they'll come out. So that's a good one. It's a SB21 bulb. Here's our gnarly piece of rubber. This is actually in fantastic shape. Um, so I'm just going to hit that with a little Windex, uh, just get the crust off of it. But on the inside, man, they are really nice. Um, yours might be rusty and, and gross and disgusting. And in that case, uh, Wolfsburg West does sell the complete headlight buckets. Um, I think CIP sells them as well. Um, a few different retailers sell them. Um, you can get the Hella ones if you can find them and get them cleaned up. Uh, there's aftermarket ones and you know it's it's a housing so you just have to watch out you get something that fits but for the most part I think everything's gonna fit pretty good uh, this is your parking light and this is the parking lights uh, plug this is an earlier car so it's the screw down terminal some have a, a spade terminal on them uh, but it's held in with one screw and this whole thing should just kind of pop out and then uh, we'll have to replace this bulb anyways because it's a six volt and we're doing a 12 volt conversion, so that'll get replaced. Um, I'm not gonna take this off because I don't wanna disturb it. it looks like it's it's on there pretty good. And like I said, these are pretty clean, so let's uh, get these all wiped down and we'll get that new lens on here and get the chrome clean and then we'll move on to the actual headlight itself. nice and clean you know I didn't need to paint them or anything sometimes you do um, just to make them look nice you're not really gonna see it behind this anyways but you know you take it apart you might as well clean it up um, this is gonna be a tricky part and you're not gonna believe me when I show you this but this is for real this is for real the way that it goes this is the seal for this um, it, it seems super crazy like you don't think that that could possibly be it I had to double check the part number uh, to make sure that it was but it is there's a little lip in here just like that I don't know if you can see that there's like a ridge and then there's a lip and then there's like a little flat spot um, I'm gonna guess that the the little ridgy bit goes on the outside like this and the only ones I've ever done all you do is you just kind of stretch it around like a rubber band just like that there we go oh so close couldn't find any videos on how to do this uh, which is another reason that we're doing it for you guys there we go just gotta get it once you get it on there you know you kind of make it even all the way around and the reason I say that that little lip probably goes to this side is because it seems to fit on the glass better that way you know and then once you got it even touching the front you know kind of all the way around and it forms a nice little sort of edge back here for the for this thing to sit in uh, there is a top and a bottom to this it might be really hard to see but the the letters will be at the bottom and the little light bulb is going to be at the bottom uh, and 
and that just kind of goes right in there just like that make sure that's nice and even and then the little screw goes at the bottom and that's how you attach it to the body uh oh no oh, don't come off there we go And then this piece has these little sort of cutouts for the adjusters. All right, now we got everything put together. We're gonna put these little springy clips in there. Uh, they're very tricky. The, the easiest way to do it is to put the long piece in there first and then uh, try to stab that little guy under. You have to make sure that the, uh, the little flat part is what's going across there and that's what holds them in uh, kind of work your way around I've I've had four holding them in before I've had seven of them holding them in there before I think four is probably the the minimum that you can do because uh, you need to have one kind of on each side keeping it there we go you know keeping it even even tension so they don't move around on you there we go you need at least top bottom and side and side and then you'll have some kind of angled in the, the ends there like how when we took it off this one at the top is the hardest one because uh, there's not a lot of room in there oh we're so close ah we got it there we go we got three more to put in there but you get the idea uh, you want to make sure that your letters there's like a little arrow at the very bottom that points at your your bolt and then you have your your little city light at the bottom here that it should be right where that bolt is too that's the bottom of the, the housing so it should sit just like that uh, in the car so that's that part uh, let's move on and we'll do the actual h4 bulb replacement in the the bulb housing there and then we'll get everything put back together all right now time to change out the uh sealed beam part uh, this comes apart just the way this other piece did you just push the little clip out of the way and you got your little trim ring got your junky blown out six bolt bulb hide that in the car for now and then you have your actual ring all right so it's very important you get this lined up uh, you want to make sure you have the right adjuster in the right little rubber keeper the little rubber keepers are getting kind of worn out there we go and then the ring pop in there and then you'll have a hole here for another piece of rubber I'm gonna have to put one in later uh, that just kind of keeps it tensioned. Um, we put our little trim ring on, making sure that we're lined up with the little bumps. And you get that little guy in there. And then you take a spring, snap it in there. All right, there we go. So I just took a little piece of scrap fuel line, trimmed it up, put it in that little hole, and then shoved it in there. You know, and now our headlight is kind of held in by the adjusters. So we're good. All right, so I'm gonna run a new harness. So I'm gonna pull the wires out of there. We're gonna take our seal, just kind of get that around that lip. And then the top, obviously you would plug in all your stuff there. The top of that hooks on that little hook. And then I use a 10 millimeter instead of the normal screw uh, for this. 
because I don't want it to get stolen. And I've always just done that. Just a little 10 millimeter. Uh, it's less likely to walk away, especially with these lenses. You know, we don't want anybody to get the wrong idea and take them. Kind of push down to make that seated. Give her a little twist with the, tighten it up. Boom. That looks pretty good, I think. All right, there we go, gang. LED H4 headlight conversion. We rebuilt the entire bucket. We got the rubber seals on there to the body, keep the water out. We've got the, the rubber seal in there on the inside. Uh, you know, that's gonna keep the water from getting from the lens back. No more liquid inside there. We've got the nice bright LED headlights from vintagecarleds.com. Um, I love these lights so much. I've used them on a bunch of my cars. Uh, Matt and Thomas over there, you know, good friends of ours, they sent us these headlights to, to show you guys how amazing they are. Um, and not only that, they're so generous. They're going to give you guys a 10% discount. Um, at checkout, if you go in there and you fill up your cart and you go to checkout, type in VW10 and uh, you're going to get 10% off everything in the store. Uh, pretty nice of those guys. They're, they're really good guys over there. Uh, so now you can rebuild your headlights. You can have fancy LED headlights just like I do. Um, they do have them in 6 volt. They've got them in different colors. They've got them in different wattages. They've got different versions of the housings right here. Um, you know, everything from super duper fancy to very affordable. Uh, LED the world, as we say. <laughs> Check out our friends at all the places. Hit that subscribe button. You know, let us know that you like it. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. What do you think? Good stuff? Bad stuff? You want to see something? Hit me in the comments. Pick up a shirt down at the old Teespring. Uh, you know, still back to school shopping. We got hoodies, we got t-shirts, we got all the good stuff. Coffee mugs and beanies, I'm sure. We got Sean's going crazy at the Teespring store getting all kinds of stuff for you guys. And thanks for watching.